Greetings, pet lovers. Bridget here with First Street Pets, and today we're going to talk about which pet microchip scanner is the best. Next week, August 15th, is National Check the Chip Day, sponsored by the American Veterinary Medical Association and the American Animal Hospitals Association. It is an important day of increasing awareness about what microchipping is, how it works, how to check your pet, and how to make sure that your registration is current. So I will put a link to my other microchipping-related content in the description. But for today, we're going to talk about microchip scanners. There are many microchip scanners available for purchase with prices as low as $35 and as high as $625. With such a huge disparity in price, what is the difference? I did a lot of research for this video and the accompanying written article, and I also purchased several scanners to try them out for myself. And I'm glad I did because I was able to find out what the differences are between all these different scanners and different price points, and the results may surprise you. So the first important factor in selecting a microchip scanner that you want to buy, the viewer, is what your needs are. Are you an individual pet owner who just wants to keep track of your own animals? Are you a breeder who wants to microchip the puppies or kittens that you sell? Are you someone who does pet rescue and adoption and you are microchipping the animals that you adopt out and you need to keep track of their records? Are you someone who helps find lost pets and reunite stray pets? That's a whole different story, which we'll get to in a minute. Or do you work in a high volume need type of job, like in a veterinary hospital, an animal shelter, or an animal control or police department? So these individuals all need a different scanner. Microchip frequency. So without going into great and mind numbing detail, <laughs> Microchips come in different frequencies. There are basically three different kinds. The current microchips that are standard and used today have 15 digits. The older microchips, which were commonly used 10 plus years ago, have 10 digits and a different frequency. One company has been the holdout all these years, Avid Microchips, and their chip has nine digits and yet another frequency. This complicates things when looking for a scanner because it takes different hardware to read each of these three frequencies. If you are helping reunite lost pets with their owners and the scanner you have does not read all of those frequencies, potentially it could show that the pet doesn't have a chip when they actually do. So this is a huge problem. So let's get right to the reviews. I purchased and tested four scanners in terms of cost, ease of use, and effectiveness. Here they are in order from price low to high. The first one is called MindPet. Now MindPet is just a random one that I picked on Amazon. When I originally had the idea for this video, I made an assumption that cheap scanners from Amazon didn't work or were somehow lower quality. There certainly are differences between them and the more costly ones, but not what you might think. This particular scanner costs $55 and comes with a charger cord. It's very small and light, unlike the old school scanners from 30 years ago, which resembled satellite dishes. It's light, fits in the palm of your hand and very easy to operate. Like all of the other light duty scanners, it can plug in and recharge. So you can just plug it in at the end of each day or whenever the battery goes low, depending on how often you are using it. The scanner only has one button. So when you push it, it initiates scanning. There's a little graphic of arrows going back and forth. You run the scanner over the pet to be scanned and the number appears in the little window. Now, one important thing I discovered about these cheaper scanners, they only read 15 digit microchips. So if you're in one of those groups that doesn't need to read older microchips, then this will work for you. Some of my cats that are older, like Elf, who's 15, and Mr. Cutie, who's 13 or 14, they still have the old 10 digit home again chips. So this scanner will not read those chips. So the MindPet works fine for that basic function of scanning 15 digit chips, but in the ad on Amazon, it said that it had all these other features that I just couldn't get to work. It said it would remember like 100 microchip numbers and that I could transfer them to my computer, but try as I might, I could not figure this out. 
the scanner came with very minimal directions and it just said like plug it into your computer with the USB cord, but nothing happened. Nothing pops up. I couldn't find it in any of the folders. So I kind of gave up. The next scanner that I tried out is called the Pocket Hero. So made by our friends at Microchip ID Systems, one of my favorite microchip registry and product companies. This scanner costs about $79 and words cannot describe how tiny it is. It literally fits in the palm of your hand and in your pocket as it's called the Pocket Hero. It comes with a little carrying case and a fob with a test chip in it, which is super handy because you want to make sure your scanner is working and that the batteries are charged. Sometimes it can look like it's working, but the battery might be somewhat low. And I've heard too many horror stories from people at microchip clinics where they run the scanner over the animal. It doesn't show up. And even though the scanner appears to be working and then someone else scans with a different scanner and it comes up. So testing that chip before you scan or implant microchips will tell you that it's working properly and that the battery is fully charged. Like most of the scanners under $100, this one only scans 15 digit chips. And it does say that in the ad on Amazon or on the manufacturer's website. So just be aware, this is not the best choice for doing animal control or finding the owners of stray pets, but it's great for personal pet owners, for people just adopting out animals and implanting their own chips and etc. because it's only going to read the 15 digit chips, which are today's standard. This scanner has a really cool feature, which took me a minute to figure out, but basically you can plug it into your computer and scan and the number will appear on your computer wherever you place the cursor. This is a game changer because I've never been great at remembering numbers and as I get older I'm even worse and looking at a 15 digit number on a screen and having to write it down. Back in the day I remember the struggle of scanning all these stray animals coming in trying to write the number down before it disappeared from the screen. Some staff like the vet techs would take a picture of the screen so they could then look at that and type the number in. But this was so much wasted time and so much potential for mistake. For example, one of my cats, Mr. Cutie, was registered with the wrong number for years. I only found out fairly recently when I started buying scanners and whatnot to make videos when I scanned him and saw that that wasn't his chip number. It was off by one digit. So fortunately, I was able to update his registry to the correct number. So super cool feature and easy to use. Unfortunately, what would really make this scanner pop would be Bluetooth capability, but for whatever reason, it doesn't have that. So it's nice that you can plug it into the computer, but no Bluetooth capability. Next up is the Halo scanner. Now this one is really distinctive above all the others because it is round. It has this sort of ergonomic shape where you can put your fingers in there and hold it that way and scan it. It's kind of cool. It's one of my go-tos. I keep one in the car for whenever I may need it. And sometimes people do ask me to help when they find a stray animal. Priced around $99, the Halo is the least expensive scanner to read all frequencies of chips. And this surprised me because there's a huge price jump up to the next ones that will read all frequencies. I bought mine for $99. I've seen them maybe 112. You know how prices will vary on Amazon. So I tested this on my cats and on some test chips I have. And even though it says that it doesn't read the old Avid chips, it actually does because I have an old test chip of Avid and sure enough, it popped right up on the screen. So really cool feature for only $99. This reads all the chips. So very helpful if you're a pet detective or someone helping people find lost pets. The Halo can save scanned numbers, but they can only be accessed via an app, which is called Scanner Angel. It's a free download that you can get from their website. When you scan and plug it into the computer, it will show in this app a list of chip numbers that you have recently scanned. Unfortunately, it's a little clunky and it won't scan while it's plugged in. So unlike the Pocket Hero, you can't save the numbers as you go. You just have to scan and then plug in and then save them to your computer. The software isn't necessary though to use the scanner like any other. You can just push the button scan and write the number down just like you would with any other scanner. The Hero Scanner is what I consider the Cadillac of microchip pet scanners. It is the full size and function version of, you guessed it, 
the Pocket Hero, made by Microchip ID Systems. This is what I consider a heavy duty or professional level scanner. Priced at around $299, this is the lowest price scanner in this level. The highest price one is Datamars for a comparable scanner, which is $625. So, and Home Again's is about $375 or something like that. So the Hero Scanner reads all three frequencies of chips, can be plugged into your computer with a USB cord, and also has Bluetooth. So it's pretty cool. You can use it in a clinic setting with a computer. You can Bluetooth it to your phone or another mobile device if you're at home or working out in the field. So it's very versatile. It is a little bigger than the Pocket Hero and sturdier because it's built for heavy duty, you know, being used many, many times a day. It comes with a carrying case and the fob with the test chip, which as I mentioned already is super helpful. And it's very easy to use. It does come with instructions, but it's pretty easy to just take it out of the package and start scanning animals. One difference I noticed right away between this scanner and the others is that you must keep your finger pressed on the button in order for it to scan. A lot of the other ones, you can just push it and take your finger off and it will scan for like a minute. This one, you have to keep your finger pressed down in order for it to continue scanning. But as soon as the number pops up, it reads all in one line, which is important for writing it down. And it will actually stay on the screen for up to 15 minutes. So if you've ever worked with the old scanners where it disappears in like 45 seconds, you will understand the importance of this feature. Now, if you push the button again, the number will disappear and it'll initiate another scan. So as I said, you can connect it to a device with Bluetooth. You can have that number go straight into a document, into your shelter or pet hospital software, or into a site like Pet Microchip Lookup where you can hopefully find an owner attached to that microchip and contact them so they can be reunited with their pet. Now, the moment you've been waiting for, which one is the best? So the best overall, in my opinion, is the Hero. At $299, it is the lowest price unit in that category. It has all the features for anyone who may use it. It's heavy duty. It will last a long time. It will connect to your computer or your mobile device. It's very useful, versatile, and easy to use. One of the pluses of Microchip ID Systems is that they're an American company in Louisiana, so you can get someone on the phone pretty much 24 hours a day. You can find cheaper ones on Amazon, but a lot of times they're made abroad and there is no real customer service to get a hold of somebody. So that is a big plus in having someone you can call if you're having a problem or a concern or you need some help with registering microchips or any other related subject. Best for personal use, in my opinion, is the Pocket Hero. The functionality is basic, but it works. It's quality and is made by Microchip ID Systems. So as I mentioned with the full-size Hero, you have that customer support, which is really helpful if you can't figure out how to do something or it isn't working. At $79, this is one that most people can afford or maybe get some friends to chip in so they can buy it to do whatever they need to do with rescuing and microchipping animals. I think this is great for personal use or for light use like someone doing animal rescue. The runner-up is the Halo. As I said, this is the only scanner I could find under $100 or around $100 that reads all the chips. So like I said, I keep this one in the back seat of my car and the little pocket behind the seat in case anyone needs help scanning a pet. I recently adopted a puppy and I actually scanned her on the way home and registered her chip on my phone because that's what I do and I'm so paranoid about getting microchips registered. It is pretty amazing at that price. Now, it's not perfect. Like I said, the software is kind of clunky. You can't scan as you go. It requires an app. But if you just want something that does the trick and scans all the frequencies for under $100, the Halo is the one that you want. I have to mention a little buyer beware. There's some Amazon links in the description and in the written article. So I encourage you to look around and think about what your needs are and which scanner you would like to purchase. But I have to say buyer beware because it's easy to click on one thing or search for one thing and end up on another thing. I was recently shopping for a Furminator brush for my cats and looking for a better deal, I ended up buying a knockoff fur blaster. <laughs> Now it worked, but it wasn't what I intended to buy. So you could look up a name brand scanner, 
it'll send you to an ad for one that's some other knockoff brand and you may buy it by mistake. So be sure to look carefully at what you are buying, what the specs are, and if you can return it, also important. In this research project, I bought an inexpensive scanner that claimed to read all three kinds of chips. Well, not surprisingly, it didn't because it cost about $35. So I was able to return it and make a complaint to the seller that it is not as advertised. I hope this has been helpful for you. I'd love to hear what scanners you have used. Please comment below. And thanks for all you do to help animals.